Since the coronavirus, there has been over a million confirmed cases and a total of 65,000 deaths in the United States, according to John Hopkins University. On April 12th, the U.S. became the nation with the most deaths globally. In response to rising cases, state and federal authorities are emphasizing social distancing to slow the spread, which includes closing schools and non-essential businesses. Um, all the classes are online for the rest of the semester, including labs and um, yeah, everything's online. I've had a couple classes canceled just so everyone can like transition to moving out and everything. So yeah, I just transferred here from Salem College in Winston Salem. So I just transferred in January. So I've only been here a couple months and then already have to move out. It's just kind of a bummer. So. We'll get through it. Yeah. <laughs> College students are now adjusting to this transition, trying to find ways to cope with the pressure and anxiety of schoolwork and isolation. With the guidelines and procedures regarding social distancing, isolation has been more difficult than I thought it would be. The simple things like being with my friends, I think I miss the most. One universal method of coping is through music. Almost always there was music being played. It was a soundtrack to our friendship. But when the state started enforcing social distancing, I was unable to see them and share music. The isolation has caused me stress, anxiety, and some symptoms of depression. Isolation can cause feelings of loneliness. Loneliness defined is a person's level of satisfaction with their connectedness or their perceived social isolation. Social isolation is linked to adverse health consequences, including depression, poor sleep quality, impaired executive function, accelerated cognitive decline, and poor cardiovascular function. However, music is a great outlet and an effective stress reliever. According to a study conducted by Harvard Medical School, music can reduce stress, especially with slow or meditative music that creates a relaxed effect. Music therapy is known to be effective in treating illnesses. Music therapy is the clinical and evidence-based use of music interventions to accomplish specific goals within a therapeutic relationship by a credentialed professional. How has the transition to online courses affected you mentally? <laughs> um, it's really messed with me a lot. Um, I think, I think if I started off the semester taking online courses, it would be one thing, but the transition was really choppy, and it like makes me super anxious if I don't know if like. Like, I, I'm always anxious that I'm going to be missing an assignment or that I'm not doing it correctly or, you know, whatever. And there's there's not a lot of resources. Like, my at least my university hasn't been offering a lot of resources. So it's just, like, made it, me stress out a lot, and it's made me extremely anxious. And how has music helped you through these times? Um, I mean, music for me helps me through virtually, like, anything and everything like if I have a really stressful day I'll go for a drive and just like blast the music and I think it like helps me get all of my anxiety and my stress out and just kind of like push everything <laughs> push everything away and um I don't know it makes me feel a lot better during this pandemic music can create a sense of belonging and participation enhancing community connections music helps regulate mood achieve self-awareness and express personal and collective identity and social relatedness. In response to COVID-19, people and celebrities have made playlists about the virus, life in quarantine, or playlists that help them endure these times of stress. During this quarantine and self-isolation, I've been listening to more slow and relaxed music, um, especially when I'm feeling stressed. Um, I've also been listening to Bastille's Doomsday's album, and I find it kind of fitting because it talks it talks a lot about how um, not necessarily the world's ending, but you know it goes over important issues like climate change and political disarray and um, how the people should come together and you know help help each other out in these times. And I I find that kind of um, cathartic. Artists have also held virtual raves, festivals, and concerts, 
as a way for people to enjoy live music without leaving their home. Despite isolation, music continues to connect us all, allowing us to find comfort and distraction in a time of unease and stress. When life goes back to normal, if that is ever possible, I will remember the value of music and the arts and carry it with me in the next challenges life throws at me. It makes my heart beat.